Hello everyone. So the next step of this particular course will be I'll be walking through on how to create forms. So let's get started. Let's go to our app.jsx and we won't be needing any of these other two files here. Let me just save everything and let's close app.css and index.css. And what I like to do, I like to create a form first. For example, let's go to our app.jsx. In this case, I like to go and create a form component like this and open it. And what I would like to do, I like to have some inputs. So there'll be there's gonna be three inputs for, for signing up. Because we're gonna be starting up with sign up first. So let's create three inputs. For example, in this case, I'll like to say uh first one here, second one here, third one here. Wait, let me just in this case I'm gonna, gonna say input. I'm gonna be opening an input component like this, and it's gonna be a self-closing component. And there you go. Right now, I like to make this align to the center a bit. Let's make these three inputs to be having placeholders. Let's like let's select all these three and I'd like to open the components like this. And before that, let me just make some space between the, in the inputs. And inside the input, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place some props for placeholder. Placeholder is gonna, it's gonna be three different placeholders, so I won't be doing the same thing here. Besides placeholder, I'll be placing name just to uniquely identify these three inputs and of course the next thing is going to be the handle change so in this case let's say if you were to make any of any change to this particular forms i'm going to say on change and this on change props is going to be having an handle change function for each and every single inputs here and yeah that's it what we can also do is that let's go to our first input here the first input is going to be called full name and i'd like to call this name to be a like full name like this Next thing is going to be having email, so in this case, it's going to be email. The name is going to be email as well. And let's go to the last input. Last input is going to be same password. And in this case, this case, I'll just say password as well. And there you go. Now we have created three inputs. Let's click save. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing happening here because handle change is not being initialized. So let's let's create a function called handle change. So function change. And then this function is going to be receiving a parameter called event. And let's open up the function like this with curly braces. Okay, and there you go. Now we have, now let's click save. And there you go. Now you have three inputs here. So these three inputs are gonna be the one that we'll be filling up. And the next thing is also we'll be having we'll be having a button just right below the last input. In this case I'll have to create a button component like this. And this button is gonna be having a type. And this type is gonna be having submit. And I have to name this particular button called Summit as well. And there you go. Now let's go back to our. And there you go. Right now you will be having another component called button here. So as you can see here, we need to be make sure that whenever when we fill up a form here, we need to be having a state to store those particular text that we input. So for example, let's say if I put my name, full name here, I need to be having a state to actually keep track of what I've actually typed into this particular form. So let's quote our code here. And we're going to be having some going to be creating some states so in this case let's go to the top here and i'll create let's create an object to just to keep track of all the inputs of this particular form so in this case i'm going to be calling const and i'll have to create an object called form data and form data will be having set form data function and also i'll be having and i'll be using use state function and as you can see here use state is actually a we need to we need to import this like this so that's why you are able to see this see once you click on that option and this use state will be initialized what are the initial values full name of the email of the password and of course it's going to be since it's an object let's create a curly braces and inside this curly braces we'll be having the first element of this form data which is full name so it's just going to be copying this I have to paste it in right here and this is going to be let's initialize it with empty string and let's go to the next one email copy this and I'm going to be pasting like this equals to empty string as well and the last one is going to be password that's just to make sure that you copy exactly from your name and just paste it like this make it empty string and there you go right now you have already finished your set state object called form data and what I like to do is that whenever when we make change to this particular input, we'll be having this handle change to to update this particular form data of object, form data object, and then everything. And then yeah, all these particular three inputs will be updating accordingly. And that's that's the reason why we happen to have this handle change function here. 
So let's go to our handle change function. I'll, I'll have to create. I'll have to. I'll have to set form data first because that's because we'll be using since we are actually updating these inputs, and and when we are updating the inputs, we need to update the, this particular form data as well. This particular object. That's why. That's why we'll be using this set state function called set form data, and it's going to be having. A, going to be going to be making like a function inside inside this particular uh, set state function here. In this case, it's going to be calling an arrow function like this. And that arrow function will be having a curly braces, and this particular arrow function will be also be having a parameter which is brief previous form data just to know what are, what was the input was there before it was being changed. And of course, this is going to be having a return function like this. And here we'll be having our previous form. We're going to be spreading our previous form data like this. Spread brief form data, and it's going to be comma. Second line here, I need to make sure that. Whenever when we make a change, we need to be updating to its particular element of an object. So in this case, I'll have to go and open a square bracket like this. In this case, I'll have to say uh, the, the name of the element, which is event dot target dot name, which is this particular in elements here, which is this particular three elements. As you can see, find it here. And the next thing is you're going to be replacing with its value here. For example, event dot target dot value. Basically, we are replacing all the all the inputs all the inputs that are coming from here, which is the value, and we'll be replacing with the uh, the name here. So that's what we are doing like currently. And let's uh, let, before that, let's check whether is this particular form is actually working. So in this case, I have to say console dot log. In this case, I have to say form data, and let's click save. And let's go to our browser here, and let's open our console log. And there you go. Right now, you're able to see three elements of that form data object is being empty. So let's I'll say my name here. In this case, my name here. And as you can see here, my name has been updated to full name and my email, which is this, which is also been updated. And my last name is password. As you can see here, my password has actually been updating as well. This is exactly how we wanted it to work. So that's the end of this particular workflow. Thanks for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.